The ecstasy of China's lithium battery industry came with the release of the business performance of various companies. According to the data, 107 listed companies related to the lithium battery industry in China are expected to have positive results, accounting for about 87%. There is only one reason for these data, the strong development demand of new energy vehicles in 2021 will drive the rise of the entire lithium battery industry. However, not all of the industries upstream and downstream are getting rich. Why is that? Well, the demand for new energy vehicles has exploded, the supply of power batteries is in short supply, and the prices of upstream raw materials have also skyrocketed. Taking battery-grade lithium carbonate, the core raw material of power batteries, as an example, since March 2021, its price has risen from 50,000 to 60,000 yuan per tonne to 350,000 yuan per tonne. The upstream companies in the lithium battery industry seem to be on the front line of making wealth for new energy vehicles. However, in the middle reaches of the lithium battery industry, battery companies do not seem to have such good luck. Strangely, their sales are growing but profits are not increasing. Although midstream battery manufacturers are frantically expanding production capacity, locking in lithium resources, and taking away the market, the supply-demand contradiction brought about by new energy cars may exist for a long time. Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. As for today's video, we are going to talk about the joys and worries of China's lithium battery industry, why are upstream companies getting rich while midstream companies are under high pressure? Okay, let's take a look. The lithium acts as the heart of new energy vehicles. In the past year, the price of lithium resources has been soaring. The skyrocketing price of lithium resources corresponds to the company's performance, which is a surge in profits. Take Ganfeng Lithium and Tianqi Lithium as an example, one of the two heroes of China's lithium industry in the upstream, the net profit of one has skyrocketed, and the other has turned losses into profits. Ganfeng Lithium expects a net profit of 4.8 billion to 5.5 billion yuan in 2021, a year-on-year -year increase of 368.45% to 436.76%. They made it clear that, with the rapid development of new energy vehicles and energy storage industries, the demand for lithium salts from downstream customers has grown strongly, the production and sales of the company's lithium salt products have increased and product prices have continued to rise. The new projects in the battery sector have been put into operation one after another, and the production capacity has been gradually released, so the company's operating net profit has increased year on year. Tianqi Lithium expects a net profit of 1.8 billion to 2.4 billion yuan in 2021. You must know that Tianqi Lithium lost 1.834 billion yuan in the same period last year, and the net profit in the first three quarters was not too much, 530 million yuan. In other words, Tianqi Lithium earned almost three times the sum of the first three quarters in the fourth quarter. Tianqi Lithium made a prediction on the development of lithium resources in the application. The average annual contract price of battery-grade lithium carbonate in 2021 is about 10,478 US dollars per tonne. However, with the development of the market, the price of battery-grade lithium carbonate is expected to remain stable in 2023, with the annual average contract price stable at 25,833 US dollars per tonne, and will increase to 30,500 US dollars per tonne in 2031. This also means that the shortage of lithium resources is not a short-term event, and the price may experience a correction, but in the long run, with the further strong industry demand, the profits of lithium resource companies still have long-term room for growth. However, in the midstream of the lithium battery industry, battery companies do not seem to be so lucky. Affected by the surge in the price of upstream lithium battery raw materials, the procurement cost of battery companies has risen greatly, but downstream car companies cannot easily accept the increase in battery prices. Therefore, even if the sales of battery products have increased significantly, profits have not improved significantly for the time being. Taking the third quarter of this year as an example, 
Among the many battery companies, only the gross profit margin of CATL increased slightly, from 27.24% in the second quarter to 27.9%. The gross profit margins of Iwei Lithium Energy and Guoxian High Tech in the third quarter decreased by 2.4% and 7.98% respectively from the previous quarter. However, an investor said that it is not the time for battery companies to consider making money, but a critical moment to grab the market. Although the position of the giant in the CATL era is still unshakable, when the contradiction between supply and demand of power batteries in the upstream and downstream of the industry is prominent, industry giants tend to keep big customers first, and this is also the best time for second-tier battery manufacturers to take away food from the giants. Battery companies should now be tied to OEMs as much as possible, even if the profit is a little thinner. Now is not the time to make money. The above-mentioned investor said. In addition to grabbing the market, battery companies also focus on two things, locking resources and ramping up production. CATL has long been looking for lithium mining capital around the world, and has invested in companies such as Canadian mining giant Neolithium and Australian mining company AVZ. In November 2021, Ningda Times also staged an international mining drama with Ganfong Lithium, one of the two heroes of the lithium industry, both of whom wanted to take Millennium Lithium, a Canadian lithium company, under its command. In the end, American Lithium, a Canadian lithium company, acquired all the outstanding shares of Millennium Lithium for $400 million. The major shareholder of America's lithium is Ganfong Lithium. By locking in lithium resources, battery manufacturers can to a certain extent avoid falling into a passive state when raw material prices rise sharply, and at the same time can better integrate upstream and downstream industries and increase gross profit margins. In addition, expanding battery production capacity has almost become the consensus of the battery industry. It is understood that almost all players in the current industry have announced production capacity targets for 2025. By 2025, the production capacity of CATL is expected to reach 600 GWh, BYD to full 30 GWh, Guoxian High Tech said to reach 300 GWh, China Innovation Aviation to reach 500 GWh, and Iwei Lithium to reach 200 GWh. According to industry forecasts, the global demand for lithium batteries will exceed 1, 500 GWh in 2025 and the production capacity of the above players has far exceeded the needs of the industry. In the future, the possibility of overcapacity of power batteries cannot be ruled out. However, perhaps in the current industry rhythm where supply is in short supply, how to expand market share and allow companies to survive until 2025 is more important. Insiders said that the imbalance between supply and demand in the lithium battery industry and the sharp rise in raw material prices can only be passed down to the downstream OEMs in the industry. At present, some OEMs have eased the cost pressure caused by rising raw material prices by raising prices. All in all, from my perspective, the current supply and demand contradiction in the power battery industry may exist for a long time. After all, the capacity expansion of battery companies is not a day's work. In the future, the industry can develop towards emerging technologies such as sodium ion batteries and solid state batteries. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.